Hey everyone, John here from testpreppinsight.com, and today I'm gonna to be breaking down our list of the best PE exam prep courses on the market. We've tested out and used six or seven courses at this point, and today I'm gonna to run down what the top three are based on our reviews and ratings. And by the way, since I'll just be covering the high points today, if you find you need more detail at any point during this video, we also have a full written guide over on our website that has way more information. The quickest way to find that is probably just to Google Test Prep Insight PE Exam Prep Courses. It's the quickest way to find it. Okay, so let's get right into it with our number one overall rated PE exam course and then work down from there. I think that's probably the best approach. So for us, after grading out all of these different courses, we have School of PE as our number one rated prep program. For our team, when you look at all of the factors that matter in a prep course, no matter which depth exam you're taking, they are simply the best overall course on the market. Let me quickly list out all of the features that you get. Live online classes or on-site if you prefer, assigned homework, printed review guides, QBank access, full-length simulated exams, and a few others. Now, I will say this, in terms of scope, School of PE is sort of tied with PPI to pass. Both are by far the most intensive and comprehensive prep programs in the space, but School of PE edges them out and gets our editor's choice pick for three main reasons. Organization of their course, on-demand video lessons, and a revamp review guide that is very good. Let me start with the course structure, which I think might be the biggest strength of this package. So in the online portal, all of your hard content review material and practice work is organized into sections under a course materials tab based on topics tested on the exam, which will of course be different for each person based on which discipline you're studying for. But no matter your specific exam, all of your materials are neatly bucketed by topic. And in terms of what's under these folders, you can think of each as a study unit for that particular topic, and each unit generally consists of five core components, refresher notes, workshop problems and solutions, lecture videos, quizzes, and flashcards. I won't break down each of these five tools in detail since this is just a higher level review video, but just know that this course structure is very effective. Some other courses that we've reviewed feel very disjointed and it was a little hard to follow what to study and when, but the School of PE coursework is smartly structured and really seems to boost material retention, all while holding your hand. It's just a great setup. Then the second highlight for School of PE is their video lessons. In terms of format, these videos aren't necessarily anything special, but the content is very good. They all generally take the form of a slideshow style class where a picture of your instructor appears in the upper corner and points are made on screen with slides. The instructor will draw on screen, making notes and solving problems, and generally voicing their lesson over the on-screen text. It's a pretty classic and effective approach. Again, the production value isn't amazing, but the content is very good. These videos cut out all the fluff and get to the point very efficiently. They're some of the better content review videos that we've graded out. And the last thing I wanna discuss is the School of PE Review Guide. So just about every PE exam prep course gives you a review guide, but the noteworthy thing about School of PEs is that they're the first to update their book for the new CBT exam format. Most other prep providers are still playing catch up since they switched from paper and pencil to computer-based, but School of PE is on it. The review guide gives you special test taking strategies for the CBT format and offers integration with our digital practice questions. It's really cool and a major advantage over other prep providers. But anyway, that's why we have School of PE ranked number one. It's a very immersive course with a great course structure, solid on-demand video lessons, and an updated review guide that's currently the best on the market by a pretty good margin. It's just a very solid prep course all around. Now, in terms of cost, School of PE is kinda in the middle of the road. Their live online class costs around $1,700 full retail. Now, putting that in perspective, that is costlier than others, but School of PE is also cheaper than their main rival, PPI to Pass, who charges closer to $2,600 for the same course. Plus, even at that, School of PE is pretty aggressive with their discounts, and you can usually find this course for around $300 off with one of their frequent promos, so do make sure to look for coupon codes or discounts if there's a sale on before buying. In fact, I'll actually do my best to keep the description down below updated with the most current discount and promo codes that are floating around out there for all the companies I'll be discussing today, so make sure to check out that text below the video screen and maybe save yourself some money if you decide that one of these courses ends up being a good fit for you. All right, so the number two course on our list and our pick for best value in this space is Civil Engineering Academy. If you're gonna be taking the PE Civil exam, these guys offer the best bang for your buck by far. The full course costs just $700, effectively a grand cheaper than School of PE, who I just talked about, and close to two grand cheaper than PPI. So for engineers out there who aren't looking to spend an arm and a leg on their prep, this can be a really big deal. We're talking about thousands here. 
Now, to be clear, Civil Engineering Academy doesn't have the same depth of coursework as School of PE and PPI to pass, and their study materials are leaner and more streamlined, but if you're good with that, they provide some of the better study resources that we've reviewed. So here's how their course works. Everything revolves around 10 primary learning modules that consist of video lectures and practice problem explanations. In the video lectures, your instructor provides high-level instructions surrounding each of the topics that correspond to the breadth portion of the exam. He covers high-level theory, notes, and must-know equations, and then dives into practice problem, which he uses to teach the points that he discusses. These video practice problems are probably the most valuable part of the course, where your instructor cuts through questions by cross-referencing equations in the civil reference manual and showing you how to solve very tough problems. Plus, with every module, you get downloadable lecture slides where you can follow along and take notes. And between the modules, you can actually work extra practice problems. There's about 500 or so in the course, which is a pretty respectable number given the price. Basically, for Civil Engineering Academy, between the video lectures and the learning modules, downloadable notes, realistic practice problems, and video breakdowns of solutions, it's a powerful combo. And by the way, if you want some samples of what I'm talking about with these video solutions, make sure to check out that detailed written guide that I just mentioned. There's a bunch of screenshots and pictures over there. The link to that will be down below in the description. Now, if there are two downsides to going with Civil Engineering Academy, it's the fact that one, there are no live classes with this package. That's a bit of a letdown for people needing structured studying. And two, they only cover the civil version of the PE exam. If you're taking the exam for another discipline, unfortunately, Civil Engineering Academy is not gonna work for you. But otherwise, if you want an on-demand, self-paced course for the PE Civil where you can drive your own studies, then Civil Engineering Academy is a fantastic option, especially for only $700. And even at that, we do sometimes see Civil Engineering Academy knock five or 10% off the price, so make sure to check below for coupon codes. Okay, so the last course I wanna to cover today is PPI to Pass, which I've already referenced a couple times. And actually, there's a decent chance you've maybe even heard of PPI before whether when you were doing your FE exam review or in the work world by using their books. But in any event, there are two major reasons to go with PPI. They're live online classes, they are very good, and their hard copy review guide for the PE exam. So let's start with the live classes. If you know you're gonna struggle to stay on track and accountable to yourself to study, then you should think long and hard about PPI. Their live class schedule might be the remedy for that. They'll add some nice structure to your study plan and give you a fixed schedule to stay on pace. And in terms of quality, while School of PE's classes are very good in their own right, we did have PPI's live classes grading out a notch higher. Their instructors have an incredible mastery of the material on the exam, and they are really good communicators as well, which in a way, since you've probably been out of school for a while, might almost be more important. In short though, their live classes are engaging and the lesson plans are very smart and efficient. We were really impressed with that aspect of their live classes. And then second, the books. So PPI to Pass provides some of the most authoritative text and reference manuals on the market. And as I mentioned a minute ago, they're generally regarded as the gold standard. They are crazy comprehensive and detailed and cover everything on the exam. And they manage to be readable even despite all the detail. Plus they make some good use of sample problems throughout. But if there is one knock on these books, as I alluded to earlier, it's that they aren't tailored to the new CBT version of the exam. They definitely cover all the substantive material and concepts tested on the exam, but they haven't necessarily been updated to directly address the testing format changes. I'm sure that'll come in the next year or so, but for now, they just cover the material more directly. But in any event, if you're an old school text-based learner and prefer learning via prep books over video lessons, it's really hard to beat PPI. Their books are very close to the best in the space for PE prep. Now, if there is one major downside with PPI, as I already touched on, it's price. The PPI Live Online course costs around $2,600, which obviously isn't cheap. The on-demand package is a little cheaper, but no matter how you cut it, PPI is the premier expensive prep provider in the space. Though again, like School of PE, PPI is pretty good about running sales and special promos, and you can usually find their courses for around 15% off, so do make sure to check for that. Again, discount links will be down below in the description. But anyway, that about does it for the detail in this video, so let's get to my final thoughts and verdict. But before I hit you with that, I do just want to mention that since you're studying for the PE exam, every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free prep course to one lucky person. Super simple dinner. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description on how to get entered, but just know it takes like less than 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you could win yourself a totally free PE exam prep course. Okay, so time for that final verdict. Which PE exam prep course should you go with? Well, at the end of the day, I think it sort of depends on what features you're looking for and what your learning needs are. If you're trying to prep on a budget and keep things under a grand, then go with Civil Engineering Academy. 
Their course isn't as robust as the courses from PPI and School of PE, but it's a very solid package for the price. With their video lessons, practice problems, video solutions, and lecture handouts, they've got a lot going for them for $700. But if cost is less of an issue though, when you're more concerned with getting your PE license, our picks are School of PE and PPI. If you're looking for some white glove type service with comprehensive live classes and awesome printed materials, then think about PPI to pass. They do cost more, but it's an ultra immersive prep program and we give them very good grades. Or if you're simply looking for the best all around course, which factors in a more value driven price tag, then that would be School of PE. With everything from their newly updated review guide to the new on-demand video lessons to study notes and practice prompts, they just do everything really well and get the highest overall grade. But anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something about all these different PE exam prep courses. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping me a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you wanna see that full detailed written guide that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.